Grab your popcorn, kick back and relax, because it's time for some more carnage. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Cooker, in particular, how to take out the rockets on the ring. Now, in this particular version, we're not going to be using uh, Zookas, like you may, may have seen on some other channels. In this particular version, we're going to be focusing on how, on how to do it with Scorchers. Now, you can see the statues here. This the, the most important part by far is the fact that this person has a true power thirty four percent masterpiece and has boosted it to sixty eight with a power powder, obviously. Now his other statues obviously boosted as well, but true health is the important part here. Now he this particular person's chosen to use bullet, which is the smart play. So, you can see this version of Forlorn Hope actually has a few uh, rocket launchers here. Which is why, and the laser by the way. But that is also one of the main reasons why this would be near impossible to take out in like 3 hits like you'd normally see it. On like Turtles Channel or whatever. It would make it very difficult to do it with Zookas because of these 3 rockets. Um... It would be possible, it'd just be a lot harder. So, because this person has troop health, um, it makes it a lot more viable to use Scorchers for this hit. So, one mistake, in my personal opinion, that this person used, or made rather, was the fact that he used Energy Drink. Now, Energy Drink was used because I think he was trying to use it like an extra boat of Scorchers, so as Bullet's health got lower, he energy drinks, gets it higher, and that's a little bit more damage being dealt to things like the rockets. Now, in my opinion, because he had energy drink, he has to use shocks to take this stuff out. Now, what I would have done was I would have used taunt um, instead of energy drink because really, it dam bleh. bullet's health is actually not bullet's health. Bullet's damage is so low that I really don't feel like it would have been that much of a benefit to having energy drink over the course of the attack. In my opinion, using taunt, because taunt would have allowed him to save two shocks here to, with, with these, um, these cannons, I feel like that would have offered more value. But anyway, that's maybe some critiquing for you guys to sort of play around with. Um, but anyway, sort of deploying everything at the same time. Now, if you use Taunt, you will have to put uh, Bullet bullet first, probably, most likely, and then start doing the Scorchers from up here, just so it gives Bullet enough time to sort of get ahead of the Scorchers. Uh, anyway, you can see he's going to start shocking here because he has Energy Drink. Now, he's going. he flared that first cannon just so the Scorchers would sort of get in position. Now, he's going to have to shock again. But, he sort of obviously can't shock them all, because if he did that, then, you know, he'd get his Zookas. So that's why he flared the one in the corner, allowing him to do that. So now that he's taken out that, he's going to flare the laser, just because the laser obviously extends through his troops. So, he doesn't want that damage to add up. So pretty much, you're relying at this point on your Scorchers having more health than what the Rockets can kill you with. So, obviously once you're, you're going to let your Scorchers sort of take out a few buildings, but as they do that, you're going to flare one sort of like this, where it's not on the edge, but it's sort of like in the middle. So, the whole point is now that once that one dies, your Scorchers are going to start fanning out, taking out a few more rockets, and so you see like now they're taking out these two, and you don't want to let them focus on the shields too much. You want them to focus more on the rockets. So now he's probably going to flare this one, I'm guessing. Just because it's sort of in the middle area. These are mortars. Sometimes you will get versions where they're snipers. But that's not the biggest deal. Um, sometimes you'll get versions where these are cannons. Um, again, pretty much like this. Not too much different. Uh, you... You could save a few shocks, as I mentioned at the start of this, where you could shock that. Um, also, playing a little bit smarter, 
Like, instead of letting them destroy the stuff on the bottom here first, he could have focused more on the top side, and then flared back here, and then just let his, his troops sort of take out the remaining couple, while being out of range, mostly, of that stuff. Um, you can see he's used a boat, uh, not a boat, a critter box there, and it was actually out of range of the flamethrowers here, so that's another way of being able to distract that long term without really losing them to anything else. So some real, really nice uh, tips on how to take some stuff out here. Now he's going to manage to take out those three rockets as well, which was really good. Um, so, so you can see like even with the, um, what's it called? Even with the troop health, he was able to get that. And with the little bit of sloppy nature of not having taunt, I really do feel like that sort of let him down a little bit. Um, now, the only thing I would say... Wait, hang on. I will get the troop health. Uh, yeah, see, that's the building health. Um, the, the only thing I'm going to mention here is I feel like maybe there's a way to do this if, if the layout was right and... With a little bit of practice, I feel like maybe this attack could be refined enough that maybe you could do it without troop health. Um, because I, I feel like maybe if you use brick, although brick wouldn't live for very long, um, you could you could battle orders and sort of do like a delayed drop, so she sort of takes out the initial cannons, whatever, and then like sh shocking the same way this guy did, then deploying brick battle ordering and sort of letting them take out stuff a lot quicker or alternatively using taunt and then just using taunt a lot to sort of save your tank some health or something um so i'd like to see maybe someone try to do find a way to make that work um or maybe using scorches and zookas to sort of the scorches to sort of take out the initial few and then zookas like the normal zooka ring a cooker ring attack, um, but using the scorches to minimize the GBE cost or merely the difficulty of the hit itself. Um, but anyway, that's some ideas for a ways to refine this attack. Um, just because I feel like m a lot of people that say a focus, like in the angry family, and you know, people along that line, that you don't really see them with troop health because they know that they'd rather have the extra troop damage because that's going to help them long term on um what's it called like core rush hits and stuff like that so they're not going to want to have troop health so scorcher attacks like this really isn't all that viable for them so that's why i'm maybe trying to throw some ideas there maybe there's a way to get it without troop health um but i'm a little 50 50 on if all scorches would work maybe as i said maybe a few boats of scorches and then zookas like half and half um i don't know anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the attack this is the version with scorches now i'm almost definitely going to get a version with zookas i don't know at this point in time whether i've uploaded that as of yet because i, I know at this present moment i haven't recorded that video yet um, but I'm definitely looking into that, so, uh, if you guys have been enjoying the series so far, let me know in the comments down below, always love hearing from you guys, as always, that's been a video guys, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.